give it up right now for Karina Lucas. Hello, everyone. Hi, it's good to be here. I'm sorry if I seem a little out of it. I got super drunk last night. I was playing this hot new drinking game called Mission Impossible. And what you do is you put on that movie Mission Impossible and you drink whenever Tom Cruise is a closet homosexual. <laughs> super easy. Uh, it's good to be here in Port Portland's an interesting city because it's a city where being gay and being Christian have been reversed. Do you know what I mean? Like I had a friend tell me they were Christian the other day and my response was, hey, whatever you do in your own time. <laughs> Actually, I'm feeling a little concerned for my health uh, because I haven't had my period in 27 years. <laughs> but uh, I was hanging out downtown the other day and, uh, and someone yelled at me, white trash, bitch! And you know, it just felt good to get gender properly. <laughs> I mean, I, never felt so seen before. Uh, yo. Okay, let me tell you, I just watched The Silence of the Lambs, and I think that Buffalo Bill is unfairly vilified. Yeah, that's right. First of all, first of all, Hannibal Lecter says that Buffalo Bill thinks he's a transsexual, but isn't actually one. And you know what? Fuck you, Hannibal Lecter. You don't get to tell that creepy little serial killer who she is. That's right. Yes. If Buffalo says she's a woman, then she is a woman, okay? And look, I'm not saying that I endorse skinning teenage girls to build a woman suit. <laughs> But I get it. <laughs> right? The girl wants smooth skin. Yeah, exactly. The girl wants smooth skin. That is a noble cause, right? I've wanted to kill cis girls for so much less than that. Oh my god. I can relate to that. You don't think I'm kinky because I'm trans, but I'm not. I'm not a kinky person at all. Like, I don't even want to swallow, okay? I'm not a fan of it. And here's the thing I'll do it, but I only want to do it if it's even. Okay, so here's what we do, right? You come in my mouth, yeah, and then we split it, right? Exactly, yes. I mama bird half of it back into your mouth, right? Yes, feminism! Feminism! I'm a, I'm a bad feminist though, I really, I'm such a bad feminist that I was in a fraternity, which is a true thing about me, but I love bros, okay? Give, you know you love bros when you catch yourself masturbating to jackass? You know what I mean? Sort of a red flag. But for real though, Chris Pontius' butt, Party Boy's butt, my sexual awakening, holy shit, right? Every time he'd shove something up there, I'd just be like, I wanna be that thing. Oh, I wanna be that thing so bad. I love straight boys, I hook up with them, but like, the thing is, it's, it's very tricky hooking up with a straight boy, because if you talk to a straight boy about anal, they are so uncomfortable. Oh my god. A straight boy talking about anal is like a 12 year old talking about drinking, right? Because like, he's scared, he's intimidated, but he wants to try it, because he saw his dad doing it. Right? He's gotta try it. Uh, no, I, I think I have figured out the secret to a long and healthy relationship. I'm pretty sure I figured it out. I think that love ends as soon as you figure out everything there is to know about your partner, which is why I lie to my partners nonstop, right? <laughs> but just about little things, things that don't matter. Like I'll tell them I have six siblings, when in reality, I have chlamydia. Right? <laughs> it's a fun lie. Keeps things fresh, right? Uh, I've been thinking about uh, getting a vaginoplasty, you know, the old vagina surgery. So I went to the doctor and he said I have to get all the hair on my ball sack uh, removed with lasers, right? Because they're gonna use that skin as the inside of the vagina, right? So if I don't get that hair removed, I'm gonna have one swampy pussy, right? <laughs> it's gonna be bad news bears. It's gonna be like cum dingleberries caught in there, you know what I mean? It's gonna look like the bramble patch from Splash Mountain, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking vines and thorns and shit. Uh, <laughs> settle down, okay? Settle down. So, my ball size directly proportional to my vagina depth, right? It's like an algebra equation at the most progressive high school ever, right? <laughs> like the number one. So, I had like a weird bro-y moment with my doctor when he was checking out my junk to see how deep I was gonna be, right? So he's like, the normal depth is five and a half inches and uh, looks like you're gonna have about that. Fuck you, doc, I'm gonna have the deepest puss on the block, all right? Yes, 
my purse is gonna be so deep. Werner Herzog's gonna be like, man, that's deep. <laughs> yeah. I told that bit a while ago, and this dude walked up to me afterwards, and he's like, hey, so they're gonna use your ball skin for your vagina skin. Does that mean when you go in cold water, your puss is gonna shrink? <laughs> I was so upset that I wasn't the one who came up with that. Right? So good. All right, thank you very much, everyone.